We're seeing threats of violence. We're seeing threats of armed confrontation and assault on our capital. There are groups with malicious plans for the rally that is planned for Monday. This includes out-of-state militia groups and hate groups planning to travel from across the country to disrupt our democratic process with acts of violence. No weapons will be allowed on the Capitol grounds. Welcome back to America Talks Live. I'm Jonathan Gillum, filling in for my good buddy John Cardillo. That was Virginia Governor Ralph Northam declaring a state of emergency ahead of a pro-gun rights rally on Monday. Northam says that there have been threats of violence and all weapons will be banned from the Capitol. Now, he also said, I watched that, he said that not only guns, but we're also talking about sticks and knives and everything else. Officials say all people attending the rally will have to enter through a security checkpoint. The Virginia Democrat is the leading advocate for more gun control in the state, and the FBI has also arrested three people suspected of being neo-Nazis ahead of the rally. So that's where I want to bring in, I guess I'll call him a good friend of mine, uh, Brian Kovacs out in Arizona, God's country out in Arizona. He was founder of TalkingGuns.net. Brian, it's always good to, uh, to have you on. And it seems like we're always talking about Ralph Northam, who comes on, declares a state of emergency, and kind of skips over the fact that he's responsible for this state of affairs that are occurring uh, in Virginia. Thank you, Jonathan. Yeah, it's kind of ironic that he's declaring a state of emergency ahead of what he feels is going to be basically a domestic terrorist act, which we know for a fact isn't. You have people that have the right to peacefully assemble. You have the right to go to your capital and let them know what you think about the laws and that they are unconstitutional. This is it's unprecedented. I don't think we've seen this even before in California, New Jersey, New York, anything like that. So. Monday's rally is definitely going to be interesting. They are trying to make it into a white supremacy event. They are trying to cause, you know, deliberate, uh, you know, action from law enforcement ahead of time. I, I think that is very premature. And I think that is undermining the people. You know, I could see, though, um, something occurring like happened before. Uh, in Virginia where they had certain uh, riffraff or people that we, um, we don't even know who the reality of these people are. The news can report whatever they want. Um, but uh, one person was killed there in, in Virginia before when they had, uh, when they were taking down the statues uh, of Confederate soldiers. Um, we don't really know who's going to show up to this thing. There could be violence. And uh, who's the only people that are going to suffer from that? are the Second Amendment rights people because they get lobbed in with these same uh, crazies that potentially could show up. Exactly. So the problem is that we're not going to know the truth of who the people are that could cause the violence if they're paid to be there or if they are actually supporters of the left just trying to incite people that are gun rights or advocates for the Second Amendment that will be attending the event. Um, I'm sure that the news isn't going to report that accurately, and we'll have to make our own assumptions. But basically, you, you're going to have a bunch of people in Virginia that are on the stance of, you know, keeping their Second Amendment right versus what the governor is trying to do, which is completely take it away. It, it, there's no exemptions in here, even for hunting rifles and things of that matter. I mean, they're, they're even outlawing things such as thumb hole stops. So it's not a matter of the evil what they call assault weapons, which we still don't have a clear definition of. They just lump everything in, and it, it's very disturbing. And it, I, I'm eager to see what happens on the 20th and if it makes an impact. Yeah. You know, it's another interesting thing. Every time they have uh, one of these uh, or, or an event uh, that's either Second Amendment related or uh, some other um, conservative, we could call it conservative, but uh, some other type of rally, so all of a sudden skinheads show up. You never hear about skinheads in Virginia. Uh, when I was in the FBI, there were I mean, maybe a few that I ever heard of any type of attacks or anything like that. Mostly it's prison related when we talk about skinheads. But somehow the FBI has arrested three neo-Nazis and skinheads, um, as they call them, right before this. 
I find that very interesting. Well, I think it has to do with the fact that they're trying to cause a panic, right? So if they say, and they leave label these guys neo-Nazis, and they're simply just white Second Amendment advocates, how are we going to know the difference anyway? Until they present everything, they present their evidence to lead us to how they discovered that they were neo-Nazis. I, I don't know where these, these people are, are coming out of. Most of the Second Amendment things that I have ever been to are just your average law-abiding citizen. And they want their constitutionally protected rights to be protected, not to be infringed upon. I mean, the other thing that they seem to be afraid of is the, the term militia, which militias, militias were set up to protect the free state. So it's almost like the government is trying to stop the people from peacefully assembling and also stopping any militias from being established. It, again, right. this is very hard. Right. It's, it, you know, it's interesting. I gotta, I'm going to have to cut it right there, Brian. But before I go, I'm going to be seeing you next week in Las Vegas for SHOT Show, which is the biggest firearms industry show in the world. And I really do think that uh, this protest that's going on in Virginia is justified. And I think what they're, what they're standing up for the Second Amendment is justified. I think they chose the wrong day. They should have done it a week, uh, a couple of weeks after SHOT Show because there's literally all these people that would have gone there in support of the Second Amendment are not going to be able to be there, unfortunately. I'll give you the last word, that 30 is. seconds. I would love to be out there myself. Um, people need to get out and show their support for the Second Amendment. I think this is going to be a blueprint for what happens if Dems win um, you know, in 2020. They take over more states, more seats in the Senate, more seats in the House. This is going to be a, a nationwide event where they're going to try to take the gun rights away from us law-abiding citizens. Unfortunately, they did pick a complicated day being that it is shot show week, but let's hope that the Patriots show up and they take care of business and they are peaceful and they assemble peacefully and get their point yeah. across to their government. Yeah. Brian, thank you very much. I'll see you next week, and thank you for all you do. Thank you, Jonathan. I appreciate it. You got it. That's Brian Kovacs at TalkingGuns.net. We'll be right back with more on America Talks Live.